So, I got me a deer yesterday. And as you can see, he hit right on the tire. And right on the front bumper here. They bent my bumper up. Knocked my headlight out. Mm, bent the radiator support right here. Pushed everything back just a touch. So I guess we need to see what we can do about straightening it out today. So I guess that's what we'll do. Not too bad, could have been much worse. A lot worse for the, the deer than it was for me, for sure. But we'll see what we can do about getting this thing straightened out. Alright, so it ain't perfect, but it's a lot better than it was. Put the old bumper cover back on from way back when it was broke. And the old bumper bar, that was a Chevrolet bumper bar that was on there. The grill still broke, and the bumper cover's tore, but when it's on there, looks halfway right. Uh, I'm ride like that until we can get a suitable replacement. Um, could have been much worse. Bent the inner part of the fender up. We straightened it out best we could. And I, I don't know how to register this, register this thing with the um, wildlife people because uh, that was the third deer this truck's hit. Uh, only the first one from since I've had it, but it hit two before I got it. Matter of fact, the front end was knocked off of it before I got it, and uh, James Lane fixed it, and I got it from him, so. But. Works. Not too bad for just a little janky repair. It'll do. Yeah, it'll do. Yeah. Didn't get the hair out from the tire. I guess it'll wear out or come out eventually. It's not leaking around the rim, so we're not going to worry about it right now. All right, y'all. Thanks. So, uh, like I showed you in the first part of this video, I had, uh, had an encounter with a deer, and I fixed my truck. Uh, that was, uh, I went down to Jonathan's and took him the video of the tractor show so he could do a narration. So he's working on that right now. Um, and we'll get it up just as soon as I get it back from him. Um, and then last night was the cruise in, which I didn't do a video because it was cold and rainy. And I mean, we had a good turnout. And Jonathan did his little drawing a little different. Last night, this is what I got. I got a, a set of ratchets, but everybody that showed up got a ticket instead of everybody that drove a car um, because it was bad weather and, you know, a lot of people won't bring their cars out in bad weather or whatever. So he gave everybody that showed up a ticket and then he drew and uh, gave choice instead of drawing per prize or whatever. So I got drawn first and this is what I picked and he had a whole table full of really nice stuff and everybody that came got something so that was really cool we had uh, I don't know a dozen people or so which was really good turnout for the weather and actually we had let's see it was a um, 48 fleet line uh, mid 60s model C10 extended panel truck um, Jonathan I rode, to, rode there with Jonathan and his 5 window coupe which it don't have side windows in it so it was a little chilly and then uh, Kathy Jonathan's wife drove the 65 El Camino. And uh, there's a couple other people showed up, but that was all the cars that were there. So, I mean, I was thought it was pretty cool that that many cars turned out 
especially for the weather or whatever. But so that's what happened there, and it was a good time. We just sat around and and uh, you know talked cars and and hung out and and had a really good time, and uh, it was great. Well, okay, so. You know, I showed y'all a while back my, my 37 rat rod project. Well, I picked this little grill shell up to kind of go on it. And it's a little rougher than, than what it showed, but we're going to make it work. Um, it's different. It's an early 30 Chevrolet. Um, and uh, it's like I said, it's, it's rougher than I thought it was, but we're going to make it work and make a cool little truck out of this thing. And I um, also got a, I got a 4-inch dropped I-beam that's been drilled and I've got it partially assembled here on the floor um, so it's got the hairpins and the the spring and and it came with all the kingpins and the steering linkage and the steering box and the rotors and all the hardware it's really really cool kit uh, calipers Copper mounts, spindles, I'm in the whole nine yards, so it's a really good complete kit. Um, that way, you know, the front end's not wore out. Uh, James Lane on his on his rat rod truck, he's got a, an axle that I actually I, I took out of like a 53 model Chevrolet, and Kingpins is wore out, and it bump steers real bad, and both of Jonathan's hot rods, you know, got original axles on them, got a lot of miles on them, so... They kind of need overhauling. Well, this is a this is a new axle, and so the kingpin holes aren't worn out, and it's come with new kingpins and everything. So it should be really nice and tight. I got a um, four link for the rear triangulated four link, so I don't need a pan hard bar or anything. And so uh, get a front cross member and um, some two before square tubing. And I'll be ready to start building a chassis. So that's kind of what I've been working on. I spent the day at Jonathan's on Friday, and the weather was bad, and really couldn't work any work on anything. So we hung out and whatever. And then I hit that deer. <laughs> then I come home Saturday and I fixed my truck, which I'll show you this on the first part of this video. And then, like I said, uh, um. Sunday evening I come home and started going through these parts and assembling this front axle and then last night was the cruise in so I'll get on the rest of this axle assembly and have it kind of sitting to the side which I mean I'll I'll get my frame built and I'll assemble everything and then I'll have to blow it back all apart and, and paint it and everything but right now we're just in the the kind of the planning stages or whatever. Um, so like I said, once I source the two before square tubing and I think I'm gonna get some one by one and some one by two so I can frame everything up that I need to. And um, then we'll, we'll show you as we go. But uh, it should be pretty cool. The, I love the, the look of the drill dikes a lot. Somebody had made a comment that they didn't think I should go forward with the transverse leaf spring, but I mean, it's kind of a look I'm going for. The parallel leafs, I don't think it's going to make that much difference, but the axle wouldn't have been as nice looking. I love that drilled look, and I wouldn't want to try to drill the holes myself because I really don't have anything to do that with. So that's what we're going to do. That's how it's going to be. We're going to probably Z to frame four to six inches in the front with that four inch drop, and I'm going to get a two inch drop cross member so I hope not to have to channel the floor and all at all and then we'll see up the step in the back however much we have to and we'll probably I mean I've got a six foot bed but I don't know if I want to cut the bed sides up so we might make up some uh, five foot bed sides but I want at least a five foot bed on it so like I said it's gonna be pretty cool we're getting all the stuff together right now, and uh, like I said, with limited daylight and limited hours, because I'm working six days a week, but I'll try to keep y'all posted on something. I'm sorry I didn't get any video of the cruise men. Like I said, though, it was mostly, it wasn't really good weather to to video, and it was just a bunch of talking and, and, and socializing and just having good fun, and so there wasn't a whole bunch to be seen there. So, like I said, we'll, we'll keep you updated, and we'll post that 
uh, tractor video with Jonathan's narration as soon as Jonathan gets the video back to me. So y'all stay tuned and lots more good stuff coming. All right.